What up, guys? Welcome back. So today we're talking about the top five reasons I got rid of my S24 Ultra, and they all have to do with the OnePlus 12. My daily driver since launch, it did replace the S24 Ultra, which I got rid of, no longer have. Now, this is in no way bashing the S24 Ultra, one of my favorite devices still, but the OnePlus 12 is just a better buy. Top five reasons. Let's go. If you're new to the channel, guys, hit that like, drop a sub, follow me on all social medias. But reason number one is the price. The S24 Ultra right now is going for $1,299, and that's for the 256 gigabyte variant. And then the 512 is right around, I think it's like a weird price, like $1,419 right now and both of them have 12 gigs of ram the price on this bad boy right here the one plus 12 the 256 model is now 699 with 12 gigs of ram and then the 512 has 16 gigs of ram for 799 so so much cheaper almost double the price for the s24 ultra in my opinion definitely not worth it not saying the s24 ultra is a bad device but bang for buck value the oneplus 12 is by far the better value reason number two is battery now both have really good batteries the s24 ultra has taken some hits with updates where battery has actually gotten worse but we have a 5400 milliamp battery on the oneplus 12 compared to a 5000 milliamp battery on the s24 ultra battery life on the oneplus 12 i can go for a day and a half two days with no issues it's completely changed how i charge my phone before this device well kind of the oneplus 11 changed it and this just continues it and makes it better i don't charge my phone at night anymore i've talked about this in videos i get up at six in the morning I plug my phone in for about 15, 20 minutes before I leave for work, and it's at 80, 90% every day. And if I forget to do it, I can plug it in at work or plug it in. I keep a power bank in my car. The drive to work is about 20 minutes. I can plug it in for 15, 20 minutes, and it's basically almost fully charged at that point. Forget about charging at night anymore with this device. You do not need to do it. With the built-in charging brick in the box, 80 watts wired charging on this device compared to what we get with the s24 ultra is i believe 45 watts wired charging and then wireless charging on the oneplus 12 you get 50 watts now granted that is with the oneplus charger and then wireless charging on the s24 ultra is only 15 watts so a big difference initially out of the box when i first started using the s24 ultra i was getting great battery life it did get worse over time because of upgrades maybe that's fixed or not i don't really know because i don't have the phone anymore but the oneplus 12 if i'm comparing my experience on both devices the oneplus 12 i'm taking the battery life on this phone all day long now reason number three is performance performance this is kind of a wash right both have the snapdragon 8 gen 3 chip again we do have more ram in the 512 gigabyte variant of the oneplus 12 compared to 12 gigs of ram both are monsters both of these phones are just beasts and they will be both great for years and years to come i do remember i said earlier in the video i love both of these devices but performance wise it's kind of a wash now if you want to add in some of the other features like ai on the s24 ultra if you use those features then that might be a deal breaker for you with the oneplus 12 because it doesn't have those features yet i'm assuming the next oneplus device will have those added ai features or maybe even in a software update we will get some of those features i had the s24 ultra again i didn't use those features i don't really care about it now reason number four that i chose the oneplus 12 is kind of the ecosystem they are building out and i know you guys are going to make a ton of comments that samsung's ecosystem is better yeah right now it might be and it might not even be better more is not always better there are a ton of more devices and options with the samsung ecosystem watches tablets across the board lots of home you know if you are in the home tech lots of home tech oneplus doesn't have anything like that but when it comes to the watch when it comes to the earbuds those are my my two other things besides a phone that i'm really tablets i don't really give crap about you guys whatever on the tablet if you like the samsung tablets great i'm sure it's fantastic i'm not a tablet guy but what i am is an earbud guy and i have now used the oneplus watch that is my go-to watch and the earbuds from oneplus absolutely slap anything that we have gotten in the past from samsung and it's not even close i have reviewed all the earbuds from both companies the oneplus buds pro 2 are still my daily earbuds every day at the gym 
So the ecosystem for me, what OnePlus is doing, I like more. Not only, in my opinion, the watch is better than any watch that Samsung has to offer. The phone is better in some aspects, but a lot cheaper, so better value. And then the earbuds, in my opinion, slap whatever Samsung has given us. And those are what matters to me. You know, the ecosystem is going to be different for everybody. You might use some things on the Samsung side that you need. So let me know. Drop some comments what you like best when it comes to the watch, earbuds, and the phone, of course. Of course, the phone. Now, reason number five is the display on this device. You might not know this, but the OnePlus 12 has a slightly bigger screen than what we get on the S24 Ultra. 6.82 Quad HD, 120 hertz on the OnePlus 12, and a 6.8 inch display, Quad HD, 120 hertz on the S24 Ultra. Both of these displays are absolutely fantastic. We do get more of a peak brightness, a lot more of a peak brightness on the OnePlus 12. I believe it goes all the way up to 4,500 nits, where the S24 Ultra will get up to about 2,600 nits. But both of these displays are good, and a lot of these things, remember, this, this device right here is almost half the price of the S24 Ultra, but we are getting across the board in some ways a lot better of a device when it comes to value bang for buck. And some of the other things like cameras, cameras on the OnePlus 12, you know, S24 Ultra cameras, iPhone cameras have always been at the top. The OnePlus phones in the past have fell short when it comes to the camera, right? But now we are getting closer and closer where the cameras on the OnePlus 12 are very, very good. The S24 Ultra, of course, has, in my opinion, a better camera. Both take really good video, but just, you know, taking your phone out, popping a, ca popping a photo, you can get really good photos on the OnePlus 12 now, where in the past it was hit or miss with OnePlus devices. But we're at a point now where OnePlus is kind of caught up in a lot of ways. And in my opinion, right now, on the if on like the, the flagship side of devices, the OnePlus 12 is absolutely, on the Android side, the best option here in the US. Let me know what you think, guys. I'll be back soon. Peace.